hello and welcome to a little bit of a different style of video today. Now I thought what I'd do this week is actually try a vlog. This is not my usual style of content, so I'm hoping you're gonna enjoy it, I'm hoping you're gonna find it interesting. But I thought what we could do is spend the week together, you can find out a little bit more about me, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. I'm currently drinking one of my favorite drinks. This is a little iced coffee with oat milk. I always use my bamboo straw just to prevent teeth staining. So I'm gonna be drinking this throughout this little intro chat. So for those of you that don't know, there is more to me than charity shopping. And this week I've actually got a couple of bits going on that I thought you might like to join me on. So tomorrow I've got a bridal shoot. My day job is I actually have a social media agency where I specialize in bridal and luxury fashion. I do things like social media content creation days. I style brides, I style shoots. It's a really, really fun job. I really, really love it. So I'm gonna take you with me to London tomorrow and show you what I get up to. I'll try and show you as much as I can. I will be working with a client, so I probably can't spend the whole day chatting to a camera, but I can definitely show you some of the bridal looks that we create, and hopefully you'll enjoy seeing that. And then my other job is that my husband and I actually have a luxury leather goods brand, and I've got to order some packaging for one of our upcoming projects, which I will be sharing here very soon because I'm very, very excited about the particular product we are launching. Everything that we sell at Mills and Brown is handmade and that is the key ethos in the brand and our identity is that everything is of really high quality handmade. So that's a little bit about me and what my actual job is outside of making videos for you here on YouTube. Now I don't know if you've noticed but my eyebrows are looking particularly dark today and that's because I bought this brow lamination kit and eyebrow dye. I wanted to have a go at doing my eyebrows myself instead of getting them done at the salon. And I'm actually pleasantly surprised by them. So I got this brow lamination kit on Amazon, really affordable. And then I got the eyebrow dye also on Amazon by a brand called Isla. In total to do my whole brow, I think it took me about half an hour. So I did the brow lamination, then I did the dye, and then I kind of plucked underneath them. And I'm really happy with how they look. So what to expect from this week? Well, tonight I'm going out for dinner with a really good friend of mine who I met last summer. I went to Italian school last summer in Sicily and I met a really, really lovely girl there called Rose and we've stayed in touch ever since. So we're heading out to dinner tonight to the Ivy because the Ivy actually have a really cool menu on, a really well-priced menu, which you may be interested in if there is an Ivy nearby where you live. Essentially, you get three courses and a glass of sparkling wine for £29.50, which I think for the Ivy is really, really good value for money. And if you know anything about me by now, you'll know that I do like nice things, but I also really like good value for money. I like to know that I'm being clever with how I spend my money. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I'll take you with me to that. Then tomorrow we've got a bridal shoot at one of my clients. And then this weekend, it's actually my 30th birthday. I can't believe it. So for my birthday weekend, we're gonna head to the Lake District, which is somewhere that I really, really like to go. I like going there for a couple of reasons. The first reason, my dog likes it. And I wanted to go somewhere that we could take Coda, my little Pomsky, with us. We did think about going abroad for my birthday weekend, but I just wanted to spend it with my dog, with my sister, my husband, at one of our favorite, favorite lakeside cottages. It's really, really cute. I'll show you when we go. I will also be doing something in London for my birthday with the majority of my friends who are based in London. So I've got a little bit to do around the house and then I'm gonna get packed up for London, take you with me. We'll head to the Ivy, have dinner together, and then in the morning, we'll go to my shoot. In terms of what I'm wearing today, I've got on this little shirt, which I really, really love, and I actually got this in TK Maxx, and it's 100% cotton, so I love it. Now, my necklace is really cool. At a glance, you would think this was a Chanel necklace, but this is actually a necklace that's made from a real Chanel button, but it's a reworked Chanel button, so it's this really talented lady that makes jewelry out of designer buttons and I love anything like this not only because I think it looks really beautiful and you get that kind of luxury look for less but 
I love that she is so creative and is reusing things and giving these buttons another lease of life. So I've got this on here. I've got on my Monica Maxi watch. Absolutely love this watch. I will link it below for you if you like it too. And I also got my nails painted this morning. I went for a little bit of a different colour for me. I went for dark grey. I'm not sure why, but I quite like it. A little bit uh, wintry. So these are the nails I've gone for. I also bought myself a new phone case because I'm going to London and I'm so nervous about someone stealing my phone out of my hand. I saw this on Amazon and I thought, you know what, it just gives me that extra layer of security. I mean, I doubt it would do anything if someone really wanted to steal my phone, but it just means that it's gonna have that extra little layer of added security. So I bought this in this kind of peachy pink color. I really like it. So that is enough talking from me. I'm gonna quickly pack my bag. I've got my little second hand Neverfull bag that never fails me. And I will meet back up with you when we get to London. I'll probably change my shirt for tonight. I've got a little second hand blue Ben Sherman shirt, which used to be my mum's when she was my age. So I'm gonna pop that on when we get to London, have dinner, and I'll take you with me. So hopefully you're gonna enjoy this vlog. I know it's a little bit strange to be filming in the toilets, but I always love the bathrooms at the Ivy. And they always have different themes. This one, look at the roof. It's entirely flowers, but I've just arrived and I'm seeing an old friend, Rose. I absolutely love her. And she's actually brought me a little gift. She's brought me a gift from Hugo Boss. She works for Hugo Boss. So I'm gonna open that with you as well. We've ordered some champagne and I just thought I'd quickly wash my hands because I've been on the train and then we're gonna have a lovely evening together. good value for money. Three courses. You also get a complimentary glass of sparkling wine and you get it in the beautiful surroundings of the Ivy. And this is the uh, Taste of Autumn menu. Did you enjoy it Rose? I did. She did. It was very very nice. Good morning, it is Tuesday morning. Last night was really, really fun. These here are some of the gorgeous accessories and they actually have the exact tiara that I wore on my wedding day. So this here is the exact tiara I wore on my wedding day. I'll put a photo in so you can see and I just absolutely love it. And they're all handmade by a sister duo who are based in London here. I'm good friends with them actually. And they just make the most beautiful pieces. They don't only have bridal, they also have really gorgeous accessories. Look at these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful earrings here. So pretty. And these here are made from offcuts from wedding dresses. So they also are very sustainable. They've got little matching earrings here. So yeah, this is what they're called. Delec bridal. I love this. Little pearl sleeves with a matching pearl hairband. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Our beautiful model, well one of our beautiful models. How gorgeous does she look? Amazing, amazing veil. Look at that. Stunning. It's all right. So we're just getting content here for social media. Beautiful. Sorry, I didn't really get to speak with you much yesterday, but the shoot went really, really well. And that's always good when the client is happy. I think the models looked amazing. Today, I'm actually gonna just get sorted for my birthday weekend. I've got some emails to send, some laundry, nothing too exciting to show you, but my birthday dress has arrived. 
we've got three nights in the Lake District. We're going to do one night, which is going to be like a games night, because I love, love, love games. And I'm looking forward to that. So we're going to wear like PJs for that. Then on the actual Sunday, I turn 30 at midnight. So we're going to do a dinner and dress up, have champagne. My husband's going to cook for us. He's going to cook one of my favourite meals, which is truffle pasta. And I'm going to show you the dress. I hope you can see it. This here is my really beautiful little mini A-line off the shoulder dress. Of course, you'll see this properly styled on Sunday, but this is by a brand called Feel the Lotus, and it's from My Wardrobe HQ. I absolutely love their selection of occasion dresses, and I think this is gonna look so, so cute. I'm gonna wear it with a pair of heels that I actually wore for my hen party. And I haven't decided on accessories yet, but this is the dress I'm going to wear. I'm going to give it a bit of a steam when we get there, but I'm really, really looking forward to wearing a cute little dress. I love dressing up. That's the dress sorted. In terms of outfit today, because I'm just chilling at home, I've got on a little cashmere Breton style striped jumper. This is from a second-hand website called Nearly New Cashmere. I highly recommend them. What they do is they take cashmere that's either been damaged or it just needs a new lease of life and they do repairs to it which I think is fantastic. They do also just have a really nice curation of cashmere and I got this about two winters ago and it's still in immaculate condition. I really love how it looks with gold jewellery. My earrings today are vintage Givenchy little door knocker style earrings. I got them on eBay can't remember what I paid for them. I think it was about £50. And I love, 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 love vintage earrings. Vintage Dior, vintage Oscar de la Renta, vintage Givenchy. I just think they look so chic and you just get so much more for your money. They're really well made. So I absolutely love these. And I definitely have a little bit of a vintage earring addiction. I think I might do a separate video on some of my favourite secondhand luxury buys. Let me know if you'd like to see that because... It's definitely one of my weaknesses. I do love a bit of a secondhand luxury bargain. So as I say, today I'm going to be doing some life admin. I do love a good old life admin day. I love getting to the end of the day, getting into my bed and just knowing that I've got lots of things ticked off my list. So I'm going to take the dog for a walk, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to do all of my online admin bits and bobs, laundry, pack for our trip. So I probably won't film this stuff because it's probably gonna be very boring for you. But what I will show you are two perfumes I'm loving at the moment because one thing about me, I love to smell amazing. I never ever leave the house without a bottle of perfume. I even actually wear perfume to bed. You can ask my husband, that is the truth. I can't get into bed without a quick spritz of perfume. I don't know what it is, but I love it. So the first perfume I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you two price points. One that's at the higher end, and then one that's like a mid, a mid range. For my mid range, if you want to smell really clean and fresh, but feminine, this bottle here. Can you see how much I've used of this? There's about this much left. This is the perfume by Glossier, and it's called You. Oh, it's absolutely divine. I think this retails for about £60. So definitely on the more affordable side of perfume. And I just adore this perfume. I've had this now for about a year. And this is my second bottle of this perfume. I would definitely rebuy it when it runs out as well. So I wanted to mention this one to you as a more affordable price point. If, however, you've got a higher budget and you are into your niche fragrances, this perfume here. I've never had so many compliments in my life about a fragrance and I just have to tell you about this. It is on the pricey side. I'm going to put it out there. However, I think it's worth every penny. This is by a brand called The House of Oud and it's called White Pearl. I think this would make a brilliant, brilliant wedding day fragrance for the reason that look at it. Look at this bottle. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this is just the most stunning, vanilla-y, clean, oh, it's just, I can't put it into words. And it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. I think it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. If you ever get a chance to smell it, if you go to a perfume haul, definitely smell it. And I would be amazed if you didn't love it, because it's just, 
I think it's absolutely glorious. So anyway, that's how I'm smelling at the moment. If you were wondering, you probably weren't. But these are the perfumes I'm currently reaching to the most. I'll definitely be wearing this on my birthday. So I'm gonna put this aside to pack into my suitcase. What else do I need to do? I write absolutely everything in my notebook. This is actually one of the notebooks from my own brand. I've got to go and post some bits that I've sold on Vinted. I've also got to find my friend a baby shower gift. I finally got a friend who's having a baby. She's my first friend to have a baby. So I'm going to have a little look at what I could get her. I spoke to somebody who is a mum already and she said that it's really important not to only buy something for the baby but also to buy something for the mum which I thought was a really, really good piece of advice. As somebody that isn't a mum myself, it's probably something that I may have overlooked if she hadn't have given me that tip. So I'm going to get her something, something self-care related, maybe some skincare or some cozy pajamas. And then for the baby, I think I'm gonna get like a little personalized cardigan from Etsy or something personalized. I love using Etsy for personalized gifts. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go do my errands. And I think the next time I see you, will probably be in the car on the way to the Lake District to celebrate my birthday. So I'll catch up with you very soon. Good morning, it's actually Friday today. I didn't film yesterday because if I'm completely honest, it was a really boring day. I was just sat behind my computer all day. So I thought, you know, I don't need to show you that. But today is Friday and I'm actually heading in to London. I thought the next time I'd see you would be in the Lake District. But then I remembered I've actually booked an aesthetics appointment with my doctor, Dr. Freya. She's a surgical doctor and she is the lady that does my Botox. Now, I know that this is a topic that can be a little bit divisive, but the way I see it is I would rather be transparent with what I have done. And although I don't think that injectables are necessary, my personal view is if it's something that makes you feel better about yourself, it's safe and you're doing it for yourself, I'm all for it. So I've been getting anti-wrinkle injections in my forehead for probably about four years. I first got them ahead of my wedding because I was starting to develop the little frown lines here. So I started getting Botox there and I absolutely love it. It makes me feel better about myself. Makeup goes on nicer. So I thought I would take you with me today to my appointment to show you what I get. I do want to preface this by saying, of course, this is not necessary. You do not need to have anything like this done to your face to look amazing, to feel great. This is a personal decision. This is something that makes me feel better and I'm sharing it with you for the sole purpose that I want to be honest and upfront about what I have done. So I have recently, in the lead up to turning 30, started also getting Botox just here on my eyes to prevent the lines forming on the outer corners of my eyes. And today I'm also going to have a consultation just to discuss this area here. I'm not sure if I'll have anything done, but I thought I'll just talk to Freya and see what she thinks. The reason I go to Freya is because she, not only is she a surgical doctor, she also specializes in natural work. She's very, very particular with what she will and won't do, which is why I like her. So she only will do natural work. So I've just got on an oversized black t-shirt, which actually is my husband's, with this little gold plated necklace. This is by Freya Rose and it's actually my zodiac sign. It's a little Libra necklace. And then I've just got on some gym leggings because I want to be nice and comfortable. I've got no makeup on as you can see. But the brows from earlier in the week are actually looking a little bit better now. They're not as dark and aggressive. They shape the face nicely. I'm probably going to do my own eyebrows uh, going forward. Now in terms of perfume, I think I'm going to go for this one here, that is the YSL Libra perfume. And as you can see, I clearly quite like it because it's very, very nearly run out. This is a really beautiful perfume. It's quite a nice and easy wearable perfume for just wearing day to day. Now to make this very, very casual outfit look a little bit more put together, I'm gonna wear this with an oversized blazer. Let me go and pick a blazer, come back, and then we'll head to London. So I've just shoved on this oversized second-hand blazer. This is actually a men's blazer, but I love the colors on this. So I'm gonna wear this, and I'm thinking maybe I should put on some sunnies, because it's actually quite bright today. And these here are my sunglasses of choice, these really big, oversized Holland Cooper sunnies. They just go with everything, because they're all black. 
and I think they're actually on sale, so I'll link them below if they're still available. Really, really like these. So that is the very, very simple outfit to head into London to get a little bit of a pre-birthday glow up, and I'll take you with me. I'll show you what goes on in my appointment. So I'm now going to head to the train station, jump on the train to London, take you to my appointment ahead of my little pre-birthday glow up. Um, so I think you told me that you are a bit fixated mm -hmm. on spe specifically the, this area of yeah. the face. Um, and I do think it, it is important not to get super fixated mm. on something. And I think yeah. when we start noticing certain changes, maybe they're really minor, but it, if you get fixated on it, it can blow up a little bit in your mind. Mm -hmm. And trying to keep solving something that's become a hang up um, isn't necessarily the best way to go. No. So I think it's important just to think, have the mind, yeah. think about am I becoming a little bit overly fixated about something that actually isn't a change or right. isn't so much of a problem. Um, and always take a step back when you're thinking about a treatment mm -hmm. um, and don't just rush into something, which I know you don't do, but no, it's, I think it's, uh, it's important to think about it and you look fantastic. Yeah, thank um, you. <laughs> there's nothing really that needs to change at all, um, but we can always make small tweaks here small and there. Small tweaks. Just for, for a refresher more than anything. Okay, cool. Yeah. I agree. Thank you. Yeah, I think this would be very, very slight, like it would be really... Very subtle, yeah. yeah. We're looking for a little bump, and I think actually if you should start out with a little bit in the in the, in the peripheral fossa if you're happy with that. This appeals to be more than going yeah, anywhere I, else. I agree with you, just because I know you're, you're conscious of it, I, I don't think it would look fake at all, okay. because we wouldn't go with that, those type mm -hmm. of volumes, but I think just because we want, to, we want to build this thing up and we want to have you know a progress here and not just do everything at once, we focus on the areas you're most conscious of, and mm -hmm. that's these peripheral fossa. And then when I smile, how would that, would that kind of just, it would still smile the same, you just... Yeah, so our aim is for it to, to be a smile to be the same, mm -hmm. because you're, when you smile, obviously you will get those folds, we all do when yeah. smile. Yeah, I don't so mind do. smile or lines exactly. at it's, all. Exactly, it's more when you're relaxed that it will literally stay very, very uh, low level onto your periosteal mm -hmm. level, mm -hmm. which is, is deep, deep in your bones, and it will it will stay there. Mm -hmm. um, so when you smile, it, you won't see it, it won't be noticeable. Okay, yeah, I like, this. I like the sound of keeping it just really minimal for now. Yeah. And I can just see yeah. if it makes it just a small, small difference. Exactly, and you know, that's the sort of thing in six months' time, if you feel that you want a little top of it, yeah. you can go down that route again, but it's good to start slow and I get love, used I love to starting that. small. Exactly. It's the, so I do the best way. It's, it's the best way to build up. Yeah. And, and changing anything with your face can also feel a bit strange and a bit worrying. Yeah, but the scary, smallest so. change yeah, it when you're looking at your face in such detail yeah. is a big change. Exactly. I think. Okay. Good. I agree with that. Okay. I loved what you did last time with the Botox because again, it's yeah. if nobody's noticed that you've had anything done, that's the sign yeah, of That is exactly good work. what we want. Yeah, and that's what so I love about you. I just want to think, wow, you're looking, you're you're looking, looking fresh. Like you a lot. You're looking well, yeah, well rested. <laughs> well, well, well rested. Yeah. I've got to tell you one thing about Freya's work also is the pain is minimal when she does her anti-wrinkle injections. I think it's because of the quality of her needles. She uses amazing needles. You can barely, I'm not exaggerating, you can barely feel it. And I'm a bit of a baby when it comes to pain. And honestly, that there, it's like having just a, like a, a pinch. So um, if you're somebody that has not the best pain threshold like me, then um, yeah, I'd recommend her for that as well. They're the smallest needles you can get, actually. They're the first four gauge needles, and they really are just a pinch. It's think. crazy. Yeah. yeah, I remember the first time I noticed it. So yeah, the smallest needles you can get, amazing. Right. Kicking off my Friday night, I had my 30th <laughs> in style. Good, I think we're done. Amazing, thank you. So I've just had the tiniest little bit in the... Piriform fossa. That, there. And I think it's made such a big difference. And, and when I say the tiniest bit, what are we talking? We're talking 0.3 probably on either side. And this is what I love about Freya's work. She does tiny, tiny tweakments that make a huge difference to how you see yourself so you probably can't even see any difference but I really can so I'm really really happy with this tiny little 
tiny little change. Ignore the crazy hair. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with this tiny little change. It's put a big smile on my face. Good morning. It is Saturday. It's about 9 a.m. I'm just taking my gorgeous Coda out for a walk before we start our drive to the Lake District. The journey is about four hours from Suffolk to the Lake District. So we're probably going to stop about three times on the way, get a coffee, maybe get some lunch and just enjoy the views. Are you looking forward to the Lake District, sweetie? Coda! She loves smelling. This park is so beautiful. We come here every single day and it's really peaceful. It's really quiet. Not very many people use it, which is a shame. If this were in London, oh my goodness, it would be absolutely packed. But we moved out of London about two years ago. We were there for almost six years. I loved it, but it's definitely a change of pace. Oh, Coda's seen a squirrel. One of her favorite things to do is chase squirrels. <laughs> you gonna get it? <laughs> I've actually been here for about four or five hours now and my friends and husband and my sister have just done such an amazing job at making me feel so special. This is the view from our bedroom. So you can see here it's got this beautiful, beautiful lake. We've got a little hot tub outside our bedroom and bless them, they have decorated my bed with balloons. I actually had a party hat here earlier. We've spent the afternoon playing games because I absolutely love a party game. I love a board game but not a really long game. I like games that are a little bit more interactive. So I'm going to leave a list below of some of my favourite really fun games and we've been playing a couple of them this evening. We're going to play a couple more after dinner. My friends know that I love a little handmade piece of clothing or accessory and they've made these amazing little heart sunnies with pearls that they've hand stuck on and even put my initials and 30 on the lens. Tonight is just games, we're having Mexican inspired food, we're going to chill out in just comfy clothes and tomorrow we're going to go for a nice dog walk, of course, with Coda. We're going to go to Windermere which is where Beatrix Potter was inspired for the Peter Rabbit books and then in the evening we're all going to get dressed up and we're going to have one of my favourite meals which is oysters, truffle tagliolini and champagne. I'm so excited for that and my husband's going to cook it. My husband is a really really good cook. Before we met he used to work in kitchens when he was in his late teens and he's just taken those skills and rolled with them. I thought I'd quickly move the camera because you can't really see me too well in that mirror. But tomorrow I'm going to show you more of where we're staying because it's absolutely gorgeous. It sleeps six people, which is why it's such an intimate group on this trip. And it's got two king sizes and then a twin room. Also, it's dog friendly here, which is perfect for us because I really wanted to make sure that Coda could be here with us on my birthday. We got her for my 25th birthday. So Coda is just over five years old. And I remember we were living in Camden. It was just before lockdown. We didn't know lockdown was gonna happen, but lockdown actually started the following year, around February, March time, I think it was. So we got Coda and the timing was just immaculate because Coda really helped us stay active during lockdown with the daily walks and just getting out of the house. So it's really important to me that Coda was here. I'm not sure how I feel about turning 30. I think there's a lot of pressure and also a lot of emphasis put on the age of 30. But I really don't feel much different to how I felt in any other of my late 20s birthdays. The only thing that I feel different about 
is I do genuinely feel more sure of myself, which is nice. And I actually put a Q&A on my Instagram asking for people who turn 30 or people that are in their 40s, 50s, 60s, whatever age they were, to give me a bit of feedback. And there was one piece of feedback which was universal and it was the most common response that I got to my Q&A. And it was that a lot of the women who turned 30 felt that in their 30s it was A, some of their best years, and B, that it was the years that they'd felt the most sure of themselves, which is such a nice, uplifting thing to think about. So on that note, I'm going to leave you there and I'm going to go and enjoy this evening with my friends and I'll catch up with you in the morning. too much since we got here but we arrived yesterday and it's absolutely gorgeous here my friends have done such an amazing job they've done amazing balloon arches we've got 30th balloons we've got flowers from one of my favorite florists last night we had a really nice mexican inspired evening and a games night and then this morning we had mimosas and an english breakfast and today we're heading out into windermere which is where Beatrix Potter was from, who wrote the Peter Rabbit books. So we're gonna do that for the day. So I've got my nice cozy little faux fur coat on. This is from a second hand, actually no, this is from a charity shop, 10 pounds. And it's actually a Gap Kids coat, it's so cozy. And then my little tabard knit is also second hand, which I bought about 10 years ago in a second-hand shop in Paris. I've had to repair it a couple of times because it's got a couple of pulls. I just repaired it with a needle and thread, so I really, really love this little knit. That's a bit better. It was looking quite bright. My earrings that I'm wearing today are some little pearls. They're from Etsy. They're really, really nice quality. They're gold-plated, but they were quite affordable, so I'll link them below for you. So where we are staying is absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful rental cottage. I'll link it below. They're pretty booked up, and I can see why. So everyone else is just having a shower and freshening up. And then we're going to jump in the car. Windermere is about 30 minutes drive. Spend the afternoon in Windermere. And then when I come back, we're going to get glammed up. We're going to put on our party dresses and have a really nice last evening in my 20s. I've also just remembered, I didn't actually show you what I ended up having with Dr. Freya. Now, in the end, we went for something really, really subtle. You may not have even spotted it on me, or maybe you have. And what we did was we put the tiniest, tiniest 0.3 of a milliliter of filler into my smile lines here, which has made such a big difference. Well, I see the difference. You might not see the difference. And that's what I love about Freya. Her work is so natural and she won't do anything that doesn't look natural. So even if you ask for it, she won't do it if she doesn't think it will be natural and, and be harmonious to your face. So when I smile now, these little lines here are just slightly less obvious. So as I say, tiny, tiny tweakment, and I'm really, really happy with the results. That's enough talking from me. I will check back in with you when we get to Windermere. We've arrived to Windermere. Ooh, here we go, let's go. And we're actually um, going on a little, a little boat around the, the lake. Coda's, oh, Coda. Are you gonna go on the boat? <laughs> we're all in our life jackets. Let's go. Let's go. everyone we are back from Windermere and I'm all dressed up for entering my 30s tonight I've got on some diamonds from the diamond store this is a diamond necklace and the diamond store is actually where my husband bought my engagement ring and my wedding band I'm delighted to be wearing a necklace by them as I head into my 30s I've got on a little uh, feel the lotus dress from my wardrobe HQ my gorgeous friend Heidi, you want to show your outfit? Heidi always looks so cool. 
Where's your dress from? Tell us about the fit. It's a bit low for you, isn't it? Heidi's quite tall. Um, but it's because I'm wearing these heels. She's got the big um, um, Steve Madden Versace dupes on. I've also got these shoes, they're so comfy. This is just from Zara. <laughs> it's so cute. I love I the shape. Remember. I got it about six months ago. It's super um, cool. But it's, it's such a nice it's shape. A nice yeah, shape. you look so good. The earrings. Go close and show those earrings. <laughs> TMW, obviously. This is the brand of earrings that I make. I hand make earrings and I always test drive them on Heidi. And she's had, you've had these for about three years now. Yeah, and yeah. they've lasted, they're sustainable. So it's upcycled, yeah. upcycled jewelry, so I fix bits of broken jewelry. And then, yeah. ins and then inside the circle here is preserved flowers. So if you've got wedding flowers, I can preserve them and turn them into jewelry. And I just think you look fantastic. That's it, I yeah. think. So we're all ready. To go, we go. Oh, oh, my shoes are Giuseppe Zanotti, and I wore them for my hen party. Do you remember them? Yes. We went to Rome for my hen party, and they definitely seen some things. Ready to turn thirty? I think so. Hi. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Do we just show you what the boys are doing? I'll quickly show you what the boys are doing. Shocking. So. The boys are hard at work, so they've actually not got dressed yet, bless them. And Alex, my husband, is currently shucking 25 oysters, which he collected yesterday morning from the fishmonger. So he's working hard, and he's also Ooh. making some delicious truffle tagliolini. Pete, Pete has got um, a boo-boo, so he can't do any shucking. He's already hurt himself on the viral vegetable chopper. So he's, um, yeah, you're, you're on medical leave from the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, I'm just supervising. He's supervising. And then the my sister and her best friend, Liv, are getting ready. So I'm really excited for tonight. Look at all these cute details they've done. Oh, Cody, are you relaxing? Cody's just having some downtime. She's tired from a... Are you tired? Are you tired? the lakes we got back late last night so I'm pretty tired I'm in my comfy clothes I'm actually in a little jumper which says dog lady on which one of my friends Abby gave to me but we had such an amazing time I think the last time I saw you was on the Sunday night we were having just so much fun and you may have seen that I actually got given my birthday present which is a very, very, very special gift. Now, if you've followed me for any time at all, over the past couple of years, you'll know that I've always dreamed of owning a Lady Dior handbag. And in that box there, I am now the very, very proud and grateful owner of my first ever Lady Dior handbag. My husband organized it for me and my friends and family all contributed towards it. Probably gonna open that in a different video because this video is getting pretty long. Now it's been a week since I started this vlog. I really do hope you have enjoyed coming with me for the week. I have no idea how this will be received because it's so different to my other videos. But if you have enjoyed it, do let me know. Do let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do more vlog style videos. Of course, I will keep up my usual style of videos. But this has actually been quite fun to film and to show you just a little different side to me. And I will be back with a video unboxing this stunning, stunning piece. I still can't quite believe that it's mine. So definitely keep an eye out on my YouTube, but also on my other channels. And I'll be doing an unboxing very, very soon. My other channels will be linked down below in the description box. To be quite honest, for the rest of the evening, I'm actually just going to use one of my favourite, favourite beauty products ever. This is my Lust Mask, which has red and blue light therapy. I use more so the red light therapy, but it connects to your phone on an app, so you can just really easily select what type of light therapy you want, so whether it's for helping with acne, whether it's helping produce more collagen, 
whatever it is that you need in whatever area you need, the app can do it. I can quickly show you now, one second. Mask looks on. I know it looks quite scary, but it's really rubbery and bendy, so it really sticks to your face. And then what you do is you have the app on your phone, which I think you can see here. And then if you just click start now, you can then select which type of light therapy you want and where on the face you want it. So I'm gonna select the red light on my forehead. I'm gonna select it around my eye area and around my mouth and around my chin. And then once I press next, the light therapy session will start for 10 minutes. And I absolutely love this. I do this every single night. Are you ready? And there it is. I did not expect to be signing off my video wearing this mask, but I am going to leave this video here. I hope you've enjoyed joining me for the week. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe. I will have linked as much as I can down below for you in the description box. As always, a huge thank you for watching my video and I will see you again in my next. Bye.